I'm Lynn Rogers. Welcome to Outside Explorer. Today we're going to learn a little about bears and tour the North American Bear Center. The North American Bear Center has really got something for everybody. Uh, there's the cub room for kids, uh, fun things to do, people to interact with the kids and, and tell them stories and all. Uh, for the adults, uh, usually uh, they go directly to the bear viewing windows and uh, see the bears uh, out there, learn from the bears themselves. He's near the pine trees and here he comes. It's pretty early for him. He's a late sleeper. He's our youngster. He likes to usually sleep until 11 or 12. So this is morning time for him. Okay, people from the register, they see this waterfall. So they come over here to see what's out here. And it's um, the bears. We've got 10 times more forest here than we do open area. So the bears can roam back there. Uh, but most of the time, people see a bear right here. If they don't see a bear right here, we do a be behind the scenes so they do see a bear. We guarantee that they're gonna see a bear. Lucky, as I said, is our six-year-old male and he weighs in right now at about 370. There's outside viewing. You can learn bear vocalizations. And then, um, typically then, people uh, would start drifting around looking at the video exhibits of wild bears living their lives uh, in a way that uh, you cannot see on television. It took us years of getting these bears accustomed to having an observer with them to get the kind of video we have here. The most frequently asked questions are answered here. Our goal is to replace misconceptions with facts from the decades of research and to just have people have a better understanding of these tremendous animals. People come over this way and uh, first thing they see after they saw the real bears, they see this bear with this unnatural snarl on its face. So the first thing that they see is this sign saying this is not how bears look and they believe it because they just saw the real bears. And I see Lucky has found the tree. He's got some apples just a little above him, and he can reach them pretty easy if he wants. There he goes. People have done everything to demonize bears and, and just make them look ferocious for whatever reason I can't imagine. Like uh, very often when somebody kills a bear, they have it stuffed with uh, a big unnatural snarl on the bear's face. I have never seen that in the wild. All these, uh, magazine covers of just ferocious bears, ferocious looking bears. This is how most people think bears are. That's why they're terrified and I don't blame them. It's just not what bears are about. They're not like cats and dogs that bear their fangs when they feel threatened. Um, it just, it mischaracterizes bears and contributes to people not being willing to coexist with them. I've never had one touch me. In fact, in 46 years of working very closely with bears, I've never had one come after me and touch me or hurt me. Here, Ted. Here, come on, Ted. Here, come on. In fact, get right up here. Get on there like you're supposed to. Okay, here. People can learn bear vocalizations so that when you meet a bear, you know what it's saying. I've never heard a bear growl, for example, but everybody that tells me a story says I heard the bear growl. So I think that if a person is afraid of an animal, anything it says will be interpreted as a growl. You can learn all the range of bear vocalizations and what they mean. <laughs> you hear the nice sounds he makes? Those high-pitched grunts, those are real friendly sounds. We're not really their friends, but not their enemies. We're not competitors, but we're not significant food givers. We're just there. We're insignificant. They go about their lives, and these bears are irreplaceable. The real gem here is these uh, videos 
that are just um, unique in the world. Okay, we get into videos. Uh, bears in a den. Here's a, a pretty newborn cub in the den with her mother. When we put a den cam uh, in her den to see how she sleeps, we discovered that there's a whole world going on in there that people never realized. If you want to learn more about bears and want to help bears, uh, you could go to www.bear.org, the website for the North American Bear Center, learn about bears. You could get more involved. I hope you had a good time touring the North American Bear Center. Stay tuned for more Outside Explorer.